It is the place where thick stalks of corn blanket the landscape, simultaneously standing proud and swaying with the wind. Where city centers resemble a different time. And those who live here say they are the true embodiment of Main Street in America. You are an Iowa. We're going to get you moving over that way. People are generally very welcoming and open, I think. Yeah. They're very practical people. It turns out that they are also very powerful people. We get a first-hand look at all the candidates. They come to our cities. They come to our area. We get to sit down, town meetings with them, ask them questions, find out what their real real core values are, which is very, very important to Iowa. The Iowa caucuses is among the first stops in the presidential primary. But for Republicans, the initial hurdle is always the Iowa straw poll. Well, you could say it's popularity contest meets county fair. But don't let this carnival-like atmosphere fool you. What is happening right now can and has carried significant weight. It can determine who sinks. And whose campaign carries on. It's a prime example of small town politics with big time consequences. If you're ready to vote, line up here. I've lived here for two years and I see a lot, I've felt, never felt more energy and interest in politics than living here, actually. There you go. <laughs> Take two. You can give one to a friend. I will. Okay? They call it uh, retail politics out here where you'll be able to talk to the candidates. I think that's good. Good for Iowa, for sure. I got to shake Michelle's backman's hand. How crazy is that? But out of 50 states, Iowa's population ranks 30th at a mere 3 million people. If you have not registered to vote, please do so now. More than 91% of those who do live here are white. Homegrown Iowa sweet corn right here. And its economy is primarily agricultural. You're buttering them all up and then put them on a grill. Candidates, nevertheless, spend considerable time and money in the state. Proving to the party and the country that they're organized and should be taken seriously. On behalf of over 600,000 Iowa Republicans, as for this year, the winner of the 2011 Iowa Straw Poll is Congresswoman Michelle Bachman. And in second place by just 152 votes, Congressman Ron Paul. In 1999, George W. Bush won the Iowa Straw Poll, and while he is the only one that's gone on to win the presidency so far, Iowa voters treat voting as a duty. The people of Iowa are pretty good at seeing through what's sometimes a little glitter and a little bit shiny, and they find the substance and the basics that are basically here in the candidates. Being from the Midwest, a lot of times people associate us with what's the, really the best about America, and I think that uh, when we vote, people take it seriously. But for those on the outside, it can also be a perplexing reality that in a land where corn is king, its people are in some ways viewed as kingmakers. In Ames, Iowa, Christine Frizzau, RT.